everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your July 2019 monthly tarot forecast. I just wanted to very quickly guys make a quick introduction video showing you the decks that I'm going to be using for this month's forecast. I am switching it up just a little bit. Um, so if you do like this new format, definitely let me know. You can comment below. Also like the video, share the video. Uh, so what I'm doing here for the month of July is I am using the Celtic Cross Spread. I'm going in with the Crystal Visions Tarot deck for that. And then what I normally do is I normally will use the Hanson Roberts deck if I feel the need to clarify anything. So what I'm doing this month is I'm going to be doing a second layer with the Hanson Roberts deck. So I'm putting down a second layer just to go more in depth with the Hanson Roberts deck. And then if I feel the need to um, clarify any further, what I'm doing this month is I'm going in with the Gypsy Oracle cards. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to be pulling you an overall additional guidance card for the month. Uh, the deck that I'm using for that is the Witchlings Oracle deck by Paulina Cassidy. And then I am also going to be pulling you a career-focused oracle from the Life Purpose Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Focusing on love and relationship matters using the Romance Angel Oracle deck also by Doreen Virtue. And then we are going to be looking at health and well-being using the Archangel Raphael Healing Oracle cards. So again, guys, if this is something that you like, definitely let me know below in the comments. Uh, if you are ever interested in how I do my private readings, um, I use a similar format. Instead of using uh, the two layers, I actually use four for my private readings. Um, so if you're ever wondering how I do my private readings, that's exactly how I do them. Uh, if you are interested in purchasing a private reading, my link is below for my website, northeastarot.com. Um, you can purchase a reading from my online store. If you prefer to pay with PayPal, I do have a PayPal link below. Um, so you can use PayPal. Uh, and if you are interested in purchasing a gift card for someone, uh, I am now offering gift cards for sale on my website as well. So that link is below if, if that's something you're interested in. All right, guys, so stay tuned for the reading. Hi, Virgo. This is Tracy from Northeast Tarot, and welcome to your July 2019 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Virgo Sun. Virgo moon and Virgo rising signs. So Virgo for this reading, I am using the Crystal Visions Tarot deck. I also will be putting down a second layer. I am using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck for that. Okay, there is the Nine of Swords with the Page of Cups. So some of you could be maybe stressing about some sort of news be staying up at night, stressing about um, some sort of news that maybe you're waiting on. Others, it could be in regards to a child. There could be something going on with a child. I'm going to stick these back in because I'm not done shuffling just yet. So we will see if they come back out. But those of you that have been really maybe stuck in your head, overly thinking about something, definitely maybe needing to distract yourself needing to do things that take your mind off of this uh, and make sure you're getting enough sleep. What else does Virgo need to know? Looking at July 2019 for Virgo. Alright Virgo, so 
the overall energy for you guys for the month of July is we have judgment. So that's very interesting. Let's see here. Those of you that have like a legal matter that's ongoing, you could be receiving like a legal decision here. Other Virgos, you might have to make an important decision. Um, you also could be inspired to take some sort of action here. Okay, here we have judgment. We have the two of cups. So for many of you Virgos that are making a decision here, an important decision in July, you will make the right decision, first of all. But for many of you, it's in regards to this partnership with the two of cups here. So it could be romantic for many of you. But for others, I mean, it could be a family relationship. It could be a friendship. It's in regards to this partnership. Now, what's interesting is underneath this two of cups, I have the four of cups. So maybe someone was offering you something. You wanted maybe something more. Um, for me, sometimes the four of cups can speak about a compromise that we have to make. Something isn't exactly how we want it to be. It also can speak about that boredom feeling flat and so those of you that maybe a relationship was lacking you could be making an important decision about a relationship other Virgos you could be even reconciling here with someone with judgment it it can represent second chances or you breathing life back into something so maybe a relationship ended some of you could be giving someone a second chance, uh, especially because we have the Ace of Cups here crossed by the Three of Cups. So if it's not a love relationship, I mean, it could be a friendship, maybe a relationship ended, a friendship with the Three of Cups, but some of you are, are mending that relationship here in July. Ace of Cups can, can represent that. It is a healing energy, but for some of you, this is definitely reconciling. Three of Cups can speak about reunions. For those of you that you have new love coming in, um, it could be with a friend. Maybe you're finding out that a friend is interested in you, or maybe you're interested in a friend here. Three of Cups is a very social energy, and so... For some of you, we, we have this blessing, this opportunity that's coming in for you. Maybe you have to find the time. Maybe you have to go out. Maybe you have to be more social. And if you're a Virgo that maybe you have a lot going on or maybe you're working a lot, that could be the challenge for you is making time uh, here. Now, those of you that it's not... Uh, on the love front, if it's not a new relationship, are you reconciling this Ace of Cups is a blessing. So those of you that are already partnered, you could be conceiving. Um, other Virgos, we have this blessing that's coming in for some of you when it's meant to come in. So this is something that's meant to come to you, that's meant to come into your life. Could be something you're going to fall in love with with the Ace of Cups or it's going to bring you great joy. I do have the Ace of Swords here at your foundation. So you have these Aces here. I mean, I see a 10. And we have these Aces. So some of you, a cycle is completing. The Ace of Swords can be you severing ties. So those of you that are getting back together, maybe you cut this person out of your life or you cut this, yeah, this friend out of your life prior um if not you could have seen something you could have heard something there could have been some sort of truth or clarity that came to you and what's interesting is we have the devil here in the recent past so you might be dealing with a capricorn some of you could be dealing with a capricorn but the devil can be like something that is negative or something that isn't the healthiest for you and maybe some of you virgos maybe cut this person off or maybe you've seen the light uh, for some of you prior you've seen the light 
but then, you know, we do have some of you reconciling. Now, for a handful of you Virgos, this could be a three-party situation. The devil can represent that temptation. So there could have been a, a temptation in the recent past, maybe in... Uh, June, there could have been a friend, there could have been someone who was tempting you, Virgo. That doesn't mean that you necessarily maybe acted on this. You could have just been tempted. There could be, for those of you that are already partnered, and I literally could be reading for like two of you right now, but if there is a three-party situation. There might not have been like physical cheating, but there could be like emotional. But crowning you is the wheel of fortune. So some of you are thinking about maybe karma. So if you are being tempted by someone, I mean, some of you might, again, choose to kind of not move forward with this. Because, I mean, you might be thinking about bad karma, things like that, with the Wheel of Fortune crowning you. Other Virgos, because that's, that's literally going to be like one or two of you. Other Virgos, judgment for me can speak about second chances or something coming back around. So here we have the Wheel of Fortune, which can represent things coming into your life. Uh, you know, at the time in which they're meant to. For some of you, it's your luck turning around. Some of you with the devil here, you felt stuck prior. This can be like the universe stepping in. We have a blessing coming to you. So something being sent to you here at this time, for some of you, something um, coming back into your life. Judgment is you also rising up from the ashes. So for those of you that freed yourself, this is a powerful healing energy. And then we do have the Hierophant here. We have the Hierophant here around the second week in the near future position. So those of you that are reconciling, those of you that you have new love coming in, there could be a commitment made here at this time with the Hierophant. The Hierophant does represent marriage, more traditional relationships. So there could be some Virgos that maybe you're making a commitment here at this time. Other Virgos, you could be dealing with a large company, an institution, maybe even the government, legal matters, documents here at this time. For some of you, there could be a Taurus individual that is significant here at this time. And in the position of your power, Virgo, I do have the Six of Swords, which is forward movement, moving away from challenges, difficulties, Moving towards peace of mind, it is a nice lighter energy. So maybe some of you, you know, were in like an unhealthy environment or a negative situation. That's something that you're rising up from, moving forward, feeling, you know, maybe much lighter and at ease here um, at this time, which is around the third week, second, third week, which. You know, when I was shuffling earlier, I had the Nine of Swords pop out. So maybe some of you, you've been dealing with like a stressful situation, something that's maybe been keeping you up at night. What's interesting is in the position of how others are viewing you, those closest to you, friends, family, we do have this Three of Wands, which is another three. And we do have the Devil here. So some of you, again... There is some sort of three-party situation. But if, if you know, you've been dealing with someone who's married, maybe you're a Virgo that is waiting on someone to get a divorce, something like that. I mean, here we see you very focused on the future. Leaving that challenging time behind, leaving conflicts, leaving difficulties behind, moving forward. Three of Wands can be you thinking about the long-term future. This can also be you setting your sights on like new horizons, new possibilities. Working very hard 
manifesting new beginnings within your life here. Yes, there might still be more, more time, more energy that's needed um, if you want to continuously see that growth. If you want to keep seeing that growth, yes, you're going to have to put more time and energy into this, but this is like you maybe setting your sights on, on new beginnings here, new possibilities. You're thinking about maybe what's best for you or what you want down the road here. So, you know, with this combination, I do see many of you very focused on the future. New possibilities, moving forward. And then in the hopes and fears, I do have the five of wands. So, again, some of you dealt with some challenging ener energies. And I think that you're just fearing that maybe it's not over with, that you still have to maybe battle some people. You still have to deal with some challenging energies. It's just a fear. can also be, you know, interference, can be jealousy, can be you clashing with someone, not getting along with someone or even a group of people, but it's just a fear. You know, if you and your husband or wife have been trying to work it out, maybe hoping that you guys get along, fearing any more, you know, petty arguments. And then energy that you have, Virgo, leaving this month, going into August, we have the moon. And so some of you could be dealing with a cancer. You could be dealing with the water sign energy. But the moon, the moon can talk about the unknown, what is hidden. Things at this time could feel kind of up in the air, like the future is not known. There's some, there's some uncertainties with something here, but it's just energy, it will pass. So at this time, maybe some of you will need to ground yourself. You could be fearing the worst, fearing, you know, any more challenges, any more, any more difficulties, but it certainly could just be a fear. There's this emotional energy here with the moon at this time. But listen to your intuition. Pay attention to your dreams here at this time. For some of you Virgos here in the month of July, I do see you definitely very intuitive. For those of you that have like natural psychic abilities, there could be an increase with that. I mean, things could be turned up a notch for some of you here. But let's go ahead now, Virgo, and add that second layer. Just to go more in depth here, looking at July for Virgo. There's the Eight of Cups, which represents, for me, being over something, emotionally moving on. And here we have that Six of Swords as well. So some of you definitely could be leaving something behind. Again, with the Devil in the recent past, something that may be about grown, something that is no longer serving you. For some, it could be a three-party situation. If you were involved in a three-party situation, you could be leaving that behind. All right, page of swords at the bottom of this deck. So yeah, we have some mental and some emotional energy here. So. At certain times throughout the month, you know, spend that time alone, go within, ground your energy. I see fear here for some of you, but it's just fear. I don't, I don't see anything bad happening. It's just fear for some of you. 
Now, we just had the Eight of Cups pop out. We also have the Six of Swords here. So some of you are like moving forward in a new in a new direction. And maybe you've never been down this path before. So it could be a little nerve-wracking. could be fear in that sense where you're just kind of worried about what's going to come next. Here we have the Page of Pentacles um, with the Hierophant. So now we have the Hierophant twice with so many pages. We've seen, you know, a few pages now. So... Those of you that work for a large company, you definitely might have to take a class. Schooling could be coming up for you. Um, those of you that are, well, I mean, those of you that are younger or even older, you could be going back to school. Um, for some of you, the company could require this. Um, so here with the Ace of, Cu of Cups for those Virgos that it's not on the love front, definitely could be career related. Here, this is interesting, at your foundation we have the Ace of Swords. We do have the Queen of Pentacles. So for some of you Virgo females, this is, this is you. Maybe you cut someone out of your life. Or maybe, maybe you heard the truth, seen the truth. There could have been clarity that came in for you. Um, you there also could have been some sort of victory that came to you prior with the Ace of Swords here. Um, you could have heard something of significance for those of you that this is a fellow earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you could have heard something. There could have been news in regards to this person or something that came from an earth sign. You could have heard something, maybe a Capricorn, because in the recent past we have the devil with the four of cups. So this is, for some of you, feeling stuck or trapped, maybe unable to move forward. And also, Four of Cups, wanting, wanting something more here, emotionally bored, not satisfied. Crowning you, we have the Three of Cups. Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups. So now we have the Three of Cups twice. And so... Some of you could have made a new friend. Others you could have reunited. Again, maybe got back together with someone. You had this blessing or you have this blessing coming in for some of you at the start of the month. Others it could be later on. But this is you feeling very blessed, fortunate, lucky, like your luck has turned around. You could be going out and celebrating this, this blessing that you have come in with this Ace of Cups here. Other Virgos, this is you reuniting with an old friend or a lover. And then here around the second week, we have that Hierophant and now we have the Page of Cups. So those of you that have gotten back together with someone in particular, those married Virgos or those Virgos that you've been with someone for a very long time. This can be flirty energy that's coming in for you. So maybe you and your partner are working on the relationship. You're trying to bond with them. You're trying to kind of have fun with them. You're flirting with your partner. They're flirting with you. This is interesting. We have the Six of Swords here and now we have the Nine of Swords. So don't overthink this. I see around the third week, you very very much, Virgo, needing to focus on the future. But some of you maybe are fearful, you're nervous, you're in your head. You could be overthinking things. Which, you know, sometimes Virgos tend to do that. So stay out of your head at this time, very much needing to ground yourself. We do have like new possibilities here. We have that three of wands with the ace of rods. New possibilities. Focusing forward. Focusing on the future. This is what's needed. And, and getting inspired. Uh, getting excited here. Because you have these exciting possibilities. Some of you might have a, this amazing idea that's, that's coming to you here at this time. But try to stay positive. And then Five of Wands, we have this King of Swords. So maybe some of you Virgos that I'm reading for, you could have dealt with like a very judgmental character. This could be your boss or it could be um, some sort of competition. This could be a person that you 
maybe had some conflicts with or some misunderstandings with this person. You know, there even could have been like a clashing of energies, like a, a disagreement. And again, with the five of, of wands, it's a very petty energy. So you feeling one way, but maybe someone else feeling the opposite. And it's just a clashing of energies. It's not, it's not like huge brawls or anything like that with the five of wands. It's more petty than anything else. And it could have been with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Or someone who was coming off as the king of swords, which he can be someone who's a little rigid, rigid. He can be someone who's judgmental, a little harsh. He can be sharp with his tongue. And so it could have been with this character. Now, leaving the month of July, we have that moon, but then we have the world. So that's very nice. So for some of you, something is completing. Something is coming full circle, but you will need to be patient throughout this process. But this is like a very blessed energy for me. Um, some of you, a chapter, a phase of your life is completing at this time. Again, very much needing to ground your energy, needing to pay attention to your dreams, listen to your intuition. I'm just seeing what else I'm getting here. For a few of you, there could be something going on with a water sign person. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of surprised, Virgo, that we don't have a king or a queen of cups because every reading that I do for you, I feel like I always pull either the queen of cups or the king of cups. We do have the page of cups. Um, but for some of you, there could be something completing with a water sign person. Or even like this confusing time of your life that, you know, maybe some of you have been dealing with. There was uncertainty. The moon is a tricky energy. So maybe some of you, something's been up in the air. There's been some uncertainty, some unknowns. For some of you, that's coming to an end with the world here. But I'm going to go ahead now, Virgo, and pull you an overall additional guidance card. Virgo for July 2019. Virgo, sun, moon, and rising signs. What else does Virgo need to know? All right. All right. So focusing on career, Virgo. July 2019, Virgo, what else does Virgo need to know? Focusing on career. Okay. So one of these cards was flipping out. I'm just going to choose from these. Virgo. Now, focusing on love and relationship matters, Virgo, July 2019. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay. These cards just want to come right out. Interesting. Okay. Now, focusing on health and well-being, Virgo. Interesting. Okay. All right. So the overall additional guidance card that I have for you, Virgo, is strength. Inner strength is the power within that pushes action into all areas of our life. So maybe some of you at certain times need to really go within and rely upon that inner strength. Some of you might need to find that, that courage within Maybe take that bull by the horns or have confidence when it comes to moving forward, which is interesting because we had that eight of cups that popped out here in the position of your power. We have the six of swords, but then we have 
the nine of swords which i feel like is fear for some of you you're overthinking something it could be making you hesitant for some of you but i think that spirit is encouraging you to move on virgo focusing on career we do have speaker your your life purpose involves your skills of oration i don't know if i'm saying that right virgo but for some of you um you could be speaking you could be speaking quite a bit here in july so some of you Maybe this, this fear, this nervous energy could even be on the career front. Maybe you have to give a speech and so you might have to go within and really be strong or have you know faith in yourself, believe in yourself um, when it comes to this because maybe you have to give a speech, Virgo. For some of you, this is maybe what you're going to be doing for a living. You might already be a speaker of some kind now, this is interesting, focusing on love life. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, which we have the devil in the recent past. And then we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I think that some of you that I'm reading for, a relationship is definitely healing. So those of you that it's a healthy relationship, we do have this healing energy here. And that's what judgment and this ace of cups is representing for you. Those of you that it's like a toxic relationship that maybe some of you keep going back to, you can't fully close the door on this. I think that for you guys, spirit is encouraging you to move forward, to maybe let go, free yourself. Because here, focusing on health and well-being, we have a leave a stressful situation behind. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for giving me the courage and willingness to take good care of myself, including surrounding myself with healthy relationships and positive situations so for yes yeah, some of you it is a general reading some of you virgos that i'm reading for there's maybe a relationship here it might not be the healthiest so yeah you guys will know if i'm talking to you or not because this is something that's been ongoing it's not brand new Maybe this person wants to get back together with you. There could be closure coming in here, but maybe, you know, your angels, your guides still want you to let go and move on. And it might require a lot of inner strength to be able to do this for a go, but I think that you can do this. Uh, okay, Virgo, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading with me, please check out northeasttarot.com. Have a great month.